नहीं है तो फिर मौका दिया जा सकता है जी मेरा नाम सना तस्लीम है और मैं मेरा प्रोफेशन टीचिंग है आ, मेरा सलाम मेरा सवाल जो है वो आपसे ये है कि माइक बहन माइक के थोड़े करीब आ जाएं माइक के थोड़े करीब आ जाएं जी आ, तो मेरा सवाल डॉक्टर साहब से ये है कि जब भी रबी अव्वल आता है और बारह रबी अव्वल को आ, जब हम बारह रबी अव्वल नहीं मनाते तो कुछ लोग ये कहते हैं कि जी ये इख्तलाफी सवाल से गुरेज करें इख्तलाफी सवाल से गुरेज करें जी माइक किसी और बहन को दीजिए दूसरा सवाल ये है कि रफया दैन के हवाले जी मैं आ, कोई इलमी सवाल कीजिए इख्तलाफी सवाल से गुरेज कीजिए जी किसी और बहन को माइक दीजिए प्लीज السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی نیم از طاہرہ غازی آئی ایم سبحان اللہ بورن اینڈ براٹ اپ فرام ایمسٹرڈیم سٹی اینڈ آئی کیم سبحان اللہ ایٹین ایئرس بیک آئی ریورٹ ٹو اسلام آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو تھینک یو آنسٹلی فرام دا باٹم آف مائی ہارٹ جزاکم اللہ خیرن بیکاز مائی مینٹر is Dr. Zakir Naik. Takbir! 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 Dr. Dar- Zakir Naik's uh, mentor is Sheikh Ahmed Didat. And mine is Dr. Zakir Naik. After reverting to the beautiful religion of Islam, I have learned a lot through Peace TV, where it started all, my journey started all in Amsterdam city. SubhanAllah. So my parents, uh, my whole family is from a non-Muslim family background. Uh, the question that my mother always asked me is, why you Muslims always want to invite us towards uh, Islam? Why you just don't leave us alone? I tell her, my mother, my dear mother, because I love you and I want to protect you from the falsehood which you have been uh, learning. So this is the message to all our uh, non-Muslim brothers and sisters that we would love to protect them from the falsehood so they will deceive the truth. The truth is the beautiful, revelation which was bestowed upon our upon our messenger prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is the la- last and final revelation of the quran so uh, the question to you dr zakir could you advise me if i have done the right thing in explaining to them that this is a falsehood and um if this is the right thing the right reply that i gave back to them that i want to save them from the falsehood and I would guide them towards truth. Obviously, I'm not the guide. That is Muhammad, uh, sorry, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. MashaAllah. Jazakum Allah khair. And your wife, sister Farhat, is an inspiration for me as well. She became my friend. So, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. All fadl min Allah hadha. Min fadli rabbil. MashaAllah. Benji ka sawal hai. कि वो एम्स्टरडैम में रहती थी और 18 साल पहले वो वापस आ गई पाकिस्तान में और कहती है कि मैं फिर से इस्लाम मजहब में जन्म लियो क्योंकि वो उनकी बातों से लग रहा है कि वो इस्लाम से दूर थी और नो 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 माय होल फैमिली इज नॉन मुस्लिम दे आर देर आर जूस देर आर क्रिश्चियन कैथोलिक हिंदू मुस्लिम यू नेम इट दे डोंट बिलीव इन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ one god they say you have to respect all religion and Mashallah. this is one and i said no so i took myself out from that family but uh, i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he Mashallah. will guide them allahumma amin mashallah to ben ne aur clarify ki ke unke jo khandan hai wo gair muslim the wo islam se mutasir ho ke mere video ka sir se mutasir ho ke 18 saal pehle unne islam kabool kiya और अभी जब वो दावत देते हैं इस्लाम के बारे में तो उनके जो खानदान के लोग हैं वो मुसलमान से नफरत करते हैं 
और उनसे पूछते कि क्यों आप इस्लाम की दावत देते हैं तो बहन कहती है कि मैं हक की तरफ बुलाती हूं और हक का पैगाम जो अल्लाह ताला देते हैं कुरान मजीद में और आखिरी नबी मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम हदीस में देते वो सही है तो ये पूछते हैं क्या ये सही है क्या नहीं ये बेशक सही है बहन अल्लाह का पैगाम पहुँचाना कुरान मजीद की तालीमत गैर मुस्लिम को पहुँचाना बिल्कुल सही है और खसूस आपके लिए क्योंकि आपके वालदे आपके आपके खानदान के लोग सिस्टर डू अंडरस्टैंड उर्दू नॉट सॉरी डू यू अंडरस्टैंड उर्दू अ लिटिल बिट बट या आई कैन द बेसिक आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड आई एम सॉरी सो आई बेटर स्पीक इन इंग्लिश आई वाज जस्ट रिपीटिंग योर क्वेश्चन सिस्टर एंड रिगार्डिंग योर क्वेश्चन दैट आर यू राइट इन टेलिंग योर फैमिली मेंबर्स दैट द रियल गाइडेंस इज फ्रॉम अल्लाह सुभान व तआला व्हिच यू गिवन इन द कुरान and from a beloved prophet him sallallahu alaihi wasallam you are totally right sister alhamdulillah you are totally right you should give the message of allah that is the quran and the message of the prophet mentioned in the hadith but giving the translation of the quran is very good but as we have heard in my talk the master key for dawa is surah imran chapter 3 verse 64 where allah says taala ila kalimatin sawa in bainan wa bainakum Come to common terms as been assigned you, which is the first term, Allah na abda illa Allah, that we worship none but Allah. Sir. When you are speaking to your family, if they are Christian, to break the ice, as you may have heard in my talks, you should say Islam is the only non-Christian faith, which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ peace be upon him. We believe. that he was one of the mightiest messengers of allah subhanahu wa taala of almighty god we believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention which many modern day christians today do not believe we believe that he gave life to the dead with god's permission we believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with god's permission the christians and the muslim are going together there is parting of faith the parting of faith is that many christians think that jesus christ peace be upon him claimed divinity and they think that jesus christ peace be upon him is god so you have to tell your family members that there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete bible where jesus christ peace be upon him himself says that i am god always is worship me and you can throw a challenge or you can say there is a lunatic person joker looking person wearing a suit and a cap trousers above the ankle he is saying that there is not a single unequivocal statement not a single unambiguous statement anywhere in the bible where jesus christ peace be upon himself says that i am god always is worship me if any christian can show me a single unequivocal statement a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the bible where jesus christ peace be upon himself says that i am god always is worship me i am ready to accept christian Can I say something if you don't mind? Sure. So with your teachings, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, I've been given dawa through the world traveling over and I subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose me. I didn't expect this this would happen to me that so many non-Muslims accepted Islam after Amen. your messages from the Quran and the Sunnah. I'm thankful and grateful to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala that I could you know send this message forward of you. Alhamdulillah jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu yeah. alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum assalam. But sister you have to continue doing dawa with your family members. Yes. If they don't you Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ghashiyah chapter 88 verse number 19 to 22 fazakkir inna man tamuzakkir. Your job is to deliver the message. Hidayah in the hands of Allah. So if you are successful with so many people, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, hundred, I don't know. But if your family members aren't accepting, it is not in your hand. Sorry. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gave the message to his beloved uncle, yes. Abu Talib, and it was his desire he accepted Islam, even on his deathbed he did not. Yes. So when Prophet Muhammad did not do that, who are you and me? Nothing. Yes. Yes. So this proves. That hidayah is in the hands of Allah. Allah. And who is a better hidayah than a beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? We are not even point zero 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 one percent. When Prophet could not convince 
Then who were we? The person who protected the Prophet. It was because of his uncle Abu Talib, the father of Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with him. He protected him. Why? Because of the culture, tribe. My nephew, anyone touches, I will stand there. He protected him with life, with wealth. Allah didn't give him hidayah. Prophet wanted. When this verse was revealed, that it is Allah who will give hidayah, the person who laughed the most was Hazrat Bilal. Hazrat Bilal laughed a lot. Why are you laughing? If hidayah was in the hands of somebody else, me a black slave would have been lost. You know Hazrat Bilal, he was amongst one of the few first people to accept Islam. So hidayah is in the hands of Allah. But whatever dawah you do with your family, inshallah you will get reward. You may get more reward even than making someone else a Muslim. So you continue sister. Allah will be with you. Irrespective they agree or not, you keep on continuing. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he give you that, uh, the technique or that ability to make people accept Islam. And may I pray to Allah that may he give hidayah to your family members. Hope that answers the question.